Uh, something that I wanted to point out about, not not just about Zay Frank, but about a few of my suspects. This would this would count towards, I think Zay Frank, Chris Thompson, Michael Paul Maxwell, and um, and probably Richard Hart. But at the very least, the first three. Certainly Michael Paul Maxwell, because I accused him directly via email messages that, you know, we were having a conversation about my, some of my research, and he was, I could tell something was up with him, and then I looked at his art and it started tipping me off that he was in on this. Um, So if he's innocent, if let's just use Zay Frank for as an example because that's what I've been doing. Although it should, uh, it it should stand that a lot of what I say um, is meant for all of them. A lot of what I'm saying specifically about or to Zay Frank is meant for all of them. Not not all of it, not everything I say, but a lot of it. Um. So. If he is, again, Zay Frank, almost certainly, not almost certainly, he certainly knows of me by now. I have been releasing videos on YouTube and writing blog posts on WordPress talking about how I think that he's a part of a cult that engages in child trafficking, in incest, and child abuse. I have been fairly consistent with it. Um, I took a little bit of a, bre of a break for a few months, but... He, you, that's, imagine, guys, put yourself in their shoes. Even if you're, these guys are not untouchable gods, all right? They're, on some level, they're just regular people. They might have a lot going on in their lives, but even if, I've, I've worked with people who, you know, are like, I've worked with millionaires. Um, I've been a private, you know, a, a sort of assistant slash creative, uh, um, uh, creative consultant to uh, big name artists and you know who they're and their sugar daddies and uh, um, I've worked around these kinds of people who have you know a, a lot of money and have a lot of stuff going on they still were aware of things of, of people who um, who were talking shit about them <laughs> they weren't stupid they weren't totally blind uh, Zay Frank knows that I'm accusing him at this point, at this stage in the game, after a solid two years or more, like I feel like I've been, I was researching him for like maybe a, at least a solid year before I started coming out with information. So sometimes I'm like two, three years, something like that. It's been long enough. Um, <clears throat> same, I think same goes for Chris Thompson. I think same goes for, um, Richard Hart. Um, yeah, I've been researching them long enough They kn and talking about them long enough. They know about me. They know. If they are innocent, here's another thing you would think they would do. Like, you'd think that they would release me of having to worry about this by being like, Yo, Kat, you're wrong. I know how it looks. But let's sit down and we'll explain to you what all this means. Because... It does, it, like, yeah, it kind of could look like it, 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 sorry, yeah, it does. It looks like you guys are talking about child abuse. A lot of this symbolism um, um, means child abuse and incest, all right? You guys are referencing centaurs and Walt Whitman and, like, oh, yeah, come on, dudes. Um, so if they were innocent, again... Put yourself in the shoes of any person being accused of something like pedophilia and incest with children. And if you were innocent, but and like, again, maybe if, if you thought the person was just crazy and it was just a passing comment, you'd let, you just wouldn't even acknowledge it and you would ignore it. But if somebody was for better part of two years posting all over the internet 
in various locations that they think that you're a pedophile and a child rapist and they're supporting their argument they're building a case against you and picking apart the the work the content that you create and put out and pointing out how it refers to child abuse like at that point i just know personally me if i were innocent of su- and being accused of such a thing i would like and it was just re- a re- like this person seemed really uh serious about their accusations I would be like, okay, um, we need to clear this up. You know, like, this is clearly not just somebody having a laugh with a passing comment. Um, I mean, that would be gross enough. But, like, clearly this person means it. Clearly this person is, they're going out of their way repeatedly. It looks like they're almost practically dedicating chunks, large chunks of their life to trying to expose me. For, for doing bad, horrible things that I'm not doing, so let's clear this up. And it wouldn't just be a matter of doing it for my sake, like for the, the, the suspect's sake. It wouldn't just be a matter of like them needing to clear it up to clear their names. It should be a matter of also, they shouldn't want me to throw away my life on trying to on trying to expose them for being child rapists if they're not. Although I really do think that they are. I really do think that they are. Like, if I'm wrong, could you please explain to me exactly precisely with an actual conversation how I'm wrong? This isn't fair (laughs) for you to do this to me. I wanted other things for myself, and I feel like I'm trapped by this. I can't pursue anything else. In good conscience. And it also feels like, like if I try to have a kid, I'd be putting them in a dangerous situation, and like, and, and, or to be in a relationship with anybody. Same thing, it's just... (laughs) It's not fair you people are gifted with children and you abuse them and my little baby girl's gone. (laughs) It's not fair, (laughs) it should be fair. I don't understand what I did to deserve this. There are monsters who are gifted babies and children. Monsters, monsters like that man who locked his daughter in a basement and raped her for years. What the fuck? But I can't have a girl? That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Please, please. Where's my little girl? Where is she? I just want to see her call me mommy. I never got to see what color her eyes were. And they made me leave her at the hospital. They made me leave her. (laughs) That stupid fucking hospital. They dropped the ball so many times. Virtual Voorhees. She's dead because they didn't do their jobs. And when I tried to get justice for her, no lawyer wanted it. They wanted it at first until they realized that it's damn near impossible to get any kind of financial compensation for a deceased family member in the state of New Jersey. 
and uh, the hospital did not release the actual records. <laughs> like I, we knew that they should have had in the records that they had that I had came come to them and told them that there was a, an issue. I thought there was an issue, and they ignored it the week before she died, and. And they almost killed me when they gave me too much of this one medicine that was supposed to help me be dilated. And they gave me twice the normal amount that they should have. I have to blow my nose. <sighs> they dropped the ball so many fucking times. Their asses should have been in court giving me a couple mil is what should have been happening there. But because I couldn't pay, I couldn't pay a lawyer, I couldn't pay, and no lawyer wanted to do it for free or for even, like, they all told me, like, this is a good case, you should try to find another lawyer, though, but, but we can't take it. At first, they wanted to take it, but then when they would request the paperwork from the hospital and realize that the hospital obviously didn't keep records of their fuck-ups... Even though lots of other people were around and could testify to the fuck-ups, you know, like... <laughs> uh, the lawyers were just like, yeah, sorry, we can't take it on. Basically, they were saying, like, it's not worth our time because even if we win, you're not gonna... Pro you're probably not gonna get any money out of it, so we're not gonna get a cut of nothing, you know? We're, we're not gonna do this. And they all told me, like, but well, we really highly suggest that you take this to another lawyer. Like, you have a case, just we can't take it on. Like, thanks, dudes. Thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot. So that's what I learned. You can't. You're not going to necessarily get any justice unless you can fucking buy it. <laughs> My little girl deserves to be alive. Nobody cared. Dude, I talked to so many lawyers. Each and every one I had to retell that whole real fucking story. And now the statute of limitations has passed. I can't get to justice now. I can't even bring it to court even if I had the money. <laughs> <laughs> the statute of limitations is coming up on on that guy who hurt me when I was a kid and my mom still won't tell anybody the name she won't tell anybody his name and the detective is like oh can't, can't find him I called the detective up and was like what the fuck cause he wrote a shit report that was flat out like lied about stuff that I reported and something he said caught me he said you gotta understand the kid's age it's like he was supposed to be he's like 18 and I was like 7 and it's like wait what do you I didn't say it then I should call him out on it what do you mean you gotta understand the kid's age you're telling me you couldn't find him because my mom couldn't remember the name, but you, you're acting like you know what his age is. That implies that you know who the fuck it is. It's no justice. It's no justice. It's no justice. <laughs> no, you judge me, Zay. Go ahead, keep judging me. Keep judging me. Hopefully one day your children and wife aren't dead and you can't get any justice. Oh wait, you got money, you probably would be able to. <laughs> yeah, you can hire lawyers. <laughs> yeah, keep judging me. Keep judging me, piece of shit. My little baby's gone. My little baby. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a mommy. This is fair. It's all I ever wanted to be a mommy. Oh, God. <laughs> if they had even a shred of heart or conscience, they would come clean one way or the other. 
<laughs> they're cowards. They're not good people. Even if they're innocent, again, it's like at this point, I would if I were again if I were in their shoes and I were innocent, I would be like, okay, well, this person's dedicated like a solid couple of years to picking apart my con- like the media and shit that I create. Pointing out how it points to how it's, it suggests pedophilia and incest and child abuse. I mean, they're wrong, but I can kind of see how, why, how, and why they would think these things. But like for the for my sakes to keep like to keep my fucking name clean, and also for their sake because they're throwing their life away. Um, let's just figure this out. Let's sit down and hash this out, huh? So again, guys. For those of you out there, because they're troll commenters, um, they've been saying, like, he doesn't know you exist. Yes, he fucking does. Shut the fuck up, idiot. You're an idiot. You must not, you must be so fucking far removed from, like, typical, I don't know, from human beings, from millionaires and billionaires that you don't understand. Like, they're people. They have their fingers on the pulse of, like, what people, other people out there are saying about them to some degree. <laughs> Um, especially, particularly, you know, they might not, like, go on Twitter and see whatever, like, all the little nasty troll comments being said about them, but, (laughs) again, if there's somebody out there that's, like, talking serious shit about them for a solid couple years, they are gonna know about that. It's gonna make its way back to them one way or the other. They're not idiots. They're not ill-informed. They don't live in outer space on Mars. What the fuck? This is, and this is the age of the internet. They, again, like, it's easier than ever to go and see, like, okay, what's this person saying about me? Duh. (laughs) They know. They know about me. They know what I've been accusing them of. They're well aware. They're not good people. Um, they're not behaving like innocent people. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there, I guess.